playing video games for me, uh, specifically Minecraft, was a huge highlight of my childhood, but also probably my life. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Wait, okay. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna break the enchanting table real quick. Okay, there we go. Oh, get him. Oh, okay. Oh. Dude, my guy just died so easily. Break your chest. Watch out, brother. Watch out, watch out. He's, he's coming, he's coming. Oh. Okay, hold up. Yep. All right, I got it. Got him. But it wasn't until about a year ago where I realized that there were some unexpected side effects that were coming along with playing video games so much. So with that said, today I'm gonna tell you why I completely quit video games, the strange side effect that video games can have on your brain, and the unexpected benefits I found once I quit playing video games. Okay, so like I said, Minecraft was my thing. My Minecraft was my crutch. My childhood best friend Brayden and I, we literally played every single day. Okay, Brayden, how long would you say a daily typical Minecraft session was for us? There were some that easily were like, five hours. It takes time to build these castles. <laughs> realized is what I loved about Minecraft and what I've loved about video games in general is the sense of accomplishment. You had a mission, you complete the mission, and then boom, you feel accomplished. You feel like you did something. And that's why I quit, because you didn't actually do anything, but it felt so good. And I realized that this was creating a problem. You see, humans from the very beginning of time have had a built-in reward system called dopamine. Now, dopamine is our survival hormone and it rewards us for doing hard or challenging things. Now, the purpose of dopamine is to encourage us to do things that help us survive. But as life has changed and gotten easier, our dopamine system has pretty much stayed exactly the same. So where our ancestors received a rush of dopamine for hunting and bringing down a huge antelope, we can receive that same rush of dopamine for just, you know, building a, a little dirt block in Minecraft. Now, why did I think this was a problem? Great question, let me explain. So for me, I realized that regardless of how good it felt to build a castle, to crush another team, to beat a level, whatever, I realized that my brain was being rewarded and encouraged to continue doing something that ultimately did not matter. What I found was that the more I played video games and continued getting the dopamine reward for doing so, the harder real life got. You see, dopamine works by encouraging you to do whatever you did to get dopamine in the first place again. So what is the result? Everything else? is boring. Nothing else real in life feels fun or enjoyable anymore because now your dopamine threshold is up here and it's tied to something that is so incredibly stimulating and how can real life compete with that? So instead of enjoying the sunrise and feeling the wind on your face and just enjoying the lovely weather, everything will just start to feel lame. And that's what I found. Everything kind of just felt lame because your brain is no longer rewarding you for the small things, the small things that are supposed to give you joy and pleasure. Oh, and if you do play video games and you haven't realized this and you claim that this is not true, then please comment below so we can see who the liars are. <laughs> okay, but there is hope. So let me tell you what happened after I quit video games. And now I'm like probably a year and a half-ish clean from like consistently playing Minecraft every day. So roughly two years ago was probably the worst addicted I had ever been to video games. It was legit hours upon hours every single day. What I had found was I wasn't happy with my real life and I wasn't happy with the way that my life was going. So having a virtual world on Minecraft where I could control everything and I can rise castles and I can you know, dig craters, it made me feel like I did have a sense of control. It honestly made me feel good about myself, even though at that point in my life, I didn't have much reason to feel good about myself. And I think that's one of the biggest problems about video games is that we can get this feeling of feeling good about ourselves when we haven't done anything to deserve that. So not to make this more cheesy than it needs to be, but quitting was very difficult. There were a lot of days where it was just tough, where everything was out of my control and then mentally, I want to be in control again, so I wanted to log back on. I wanted to hop into my Minecraft realm, but luckily I did not. So the immediate result I found after quitting was that I was bored bored as heck. Which, while that was terrible, uh, it also confirmed my theory that my brain was no longer getting pleasure out of the little things that it's supposed to get pleasure out of. My threshold was up here. I needed super stimulating, super like crazy brain inputs to get any type of dopamine out of life. So while that sucked, uh, for me, it was motivating because now there was a problem to fix. So after quitting video games, one of the first big changes that I made to my life was taking daily walks every single morning before touching any type of like electronic device. So no phones, no computers, none of that. You gotta take a walk first to earn it. And at first, the walks felt like torture. It felt like I was trying to convince myself 
that uh you know that it would help and it just felt like it wasn't helping at all but then eventually after a, a week or so something crazy happened and i started noticing the colors in the trees and i started feeling the wind on my face and how good that felt and i started hearing the dogs bark and watching the squirrels like grab their acorns and hide in the trees when i walked by and before i knew it i started actually enjoying my morning walks i started enjoying the little things once again but this was not an overnight change however i can confidently say that once my brain got out of the constant overstimulation environment of video games life itself real life got a whole lot more exciting now my life honestly kind of feels like a video game because there are levels to real life making more money that's a level developing your body and muscle that's a level mastering your flesh bro that's a level video games made me feel like a king when truthfully, in real life, I was a peasant who lacked confidence. However, on the note of self-confidence, I found that everything that everyone says about self-confidence is a lie. And I found a forgotten secret about self-confidence. So watch this video next and I'll explain to you how to unlock it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.